This is Kirkton Hall, West Cabride, North Ayrshire. This tree is a mayflower, otherwise known as a hawthorn. Mayflower because they often flower in May, and hawthorn from the haws, which are the red berries that are produced by the tree. This particular hawthorn has a great deal of ivy going in amongst it, and because it's some distance off the ground, the ivy leaves are the mature rather than the juvenile shape. The ivy has a leaf that's quite different when it's lower down on the tree, much more pointed, the classic ivy that most people would recognize. Further up the tree, the leaves are different. They don't have the points to them. There is also a good deal of lichen growing in amongst the tree. Hawthorn leaves were eaten in past times, frequently referred to as bread and cheese, supposedly with that sort of flavour. They are usually white, but you do get varieties that have a distinct pink colour to them. This would be just a, a variety naturally occurring, which has a distinct pink colour. The berries, the haws, can be eaten. They don't have much flavour, but in olden times, if you had an empty stomach, they certainly would fill it. Hawthorn is frequently planted as a hedgerow tree because of its spines, which are obviously good for keeping stock sheep and cattle within the intended area. This tree here is a copper beech, Vagus sabbatica capria, and its leaves are a colour quite distinctly different from the normal green colour that you'd have for a a beech tree. Growing beneath these trees are bracken. Bracken is a type of fern, very invasive. It is said that the sesame fronds, the top of the, the fern, could be eaten. However, it is also said they may be carcinogenic, so they could cause a cancer if eaten in any quantity. Best avoided. This apparently dead tree is an elder, Sambucus nigra, scientific name. The flowers are used um, in the making of mead. And the tree is unusual in that its stems are not very strong and they can be hollowed out to be used as whistles or blowpipes or even for blowing into a fire to make the flower draw. Very commonly the Jew's ear fungus grows on this species of tree. Auricula, auricularia judae is the scientific name. The term Jew's ear does not refer to any racial comment. It looks very much like an ear, but Judas Iscariot is supposed to have hung himself on an elder tree. That's the connection. <laughs>